Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can fix the crashes or freezings on Modern Warfare Warzone or multiplayer. So it actually happens a lot sometimes and I'm also going to show the fixes for the PC, the Xbox One and also the PS4. So it's going to be different things what you have to do on different consoles or the PC. So let's start off. Now guys, let's start off with the PS4. On the PS4, what you want to do is you want to close off the application. And now guys, if you already try to restart it and it doesn't restart, what you want to do is you want to close off your PlayStation fully. So go to the power options and turn off your PS4. Also guys, you want to make sure that you turn off rest mode because if you see like a yellow light or a orange light after turning off your PS4, it's not fully closed off. So make sure that you turn that off. Also, you can go to the settings and go all the way down and turn it off. So let's turn it off. So guys, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to your PS4 and now keep holding the power button until you hear two beeps. And a second beep right there. So just hold on the power button. It doesn't matter if you have a PlayStation Pro or a Slim or the normal one. And now what you want to do is you want to go to your screen and see for yourself if you see safe modes. So guys, if you don't see anything on your screen, just go ahead and change the HDMI because sometimes it just changes automatically like mine. Or if you are using like a game capture course, just uh, get that off and uh, plug that in with your HDMI that it's directly connected with your TV or monitor. So now what you want to do is you want to read it like it says connect to DualShock 4 using, using the USB cable and then press the PS button. So let's do that and plug it in. Make sure that you plug it in and now go to number five. And on number five, let's do Rebuild Database. So what does Rebuild Database do? No guys, it doesn't delete any data or anything like that. It's safe to do actually. And the only thing that's gonna delete stuff out of your PS4 is number six, initialize PS4. This will reset your whole consoles and delete all of your files and things like that. So make sure that you just only do number five. And now let's click on OK. So this will actually get rid of the corrupted files and things like that. So it's a great thing to do, actually. So you can always do it if your console starts glitching and things like that. But what if you have a problem with your disk? Uh, it could happen if you are using like a disk that you have also a problem. But I will leave a link in the description down below to the people that have a problem with their disk or if they just have a disk on Modern Warfare, you can always watch the video in the description down below or on the comment section down below. So like you see guys, it's rebuilding database and this will usually take like four minutes or five minutes max, but for the PS Pro, it will only take less than a minute. So let's see our PS Pro, I mean our normal PS4. And now, like you see, we locked in back. But sometimes, guys, your games, like uh, where your games are located, will change a little bit. But it doesn't really matter. You still have your games. Nothing is deleted. You are still on your account and things like that. So you can always try this out for the PS4 users. Now, let's go ahead and go to the Xbox One users. Before I go to the Xbox One users, I just quickly want to say, guys, what you also can do is you can also clear your cache. And how do you do that? You just go ahead and plug everything in your uh, out of your console, but make sure that your console is first um, turned off. So once you turn off your consoles, just plug everything out of your PS4 also on the power brick itself. So once you do that, wait about like two minutes or three minutes and plug everything back on and that will clear your cache and it could be a fix too for you guys. So let's go over the Xbox. So now let's go to the Xbox One. So on here, what you guys want to do is you want to press on the home button as first. 
and now go to the settings option and by the way guys if you please can leave a like and subscribe thank you so much it will really help me out so what you want to do is you want to go to general and go to network settings on here go to advanced settings and now guys you want to go ahead and go to alternate mac address and you want to clear the mac address and just restart your console now guys like i did on the ps4 you also want to go ahead and clear your cache on the xbox one too so what you want to do is like i said turn off your consoles as first just make sure that it's turned off before you do this and now you want to go ahead and unplug everything on your console so also go ahead and go to the power brick itself and things like that just turn it off there also and make sure that it's all off all the cables are off and once you did that guys you want to wait about like two to three minutes and after that you want to plug everything back on and that will clear your cache and it could be a fix too for you and get rid of the corrupted files and things like that on your system so let's go to the pc users now going over to the pc users it's actually a lot more difficult about the pc users and i have a bit less to say for them but the first thing you want to do is check your files if you didn't like upload a file into the modern warfare thing or you want to make sure that there's no hacks or things like that uploaded to modern warfare so after you did that and you checked on it and you have nothing wrong what you want to do is you want to check on on the net, uh, ventilation so if your pc sounds like a jet engine or if it sounds really bad and it makes a lot of sounds you want to go ahead and get a better ventilation or make sure that you turn off your applications in the background so if you are running like something else like a editor or like 10 browsers make sure that you turn that off that could be a reason too why you have this problem and also you want to have the best requirements for modern warfare so it could be your ram it could be your cpu it could be your gpu it could all of be like all of these problems so that's why i told you guys that it's gonna be a harder problem for the pc users and they need to check everything out so these are the fixes guys for all the problems if you still have problems guys what you also can do is you can go to here error fix on the xbox one or on the ps4 it just has the same name you can always join this guys uh, if you have like a problem or something like that so Thank you for watching guys, please like, subscribe and comment down below and like I said, you can always join the Adorfix community or Kiri, this also has the same name on the PS4, so goodbye guys, take care of yourself.